Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce. Let's jump in and talk with our special guest from Chicago about his initiative, Bata Soul. So, John, just walk us through the origin story of why this initiative took place. Yeah, um, I want to give a quick shout out to Jeff Masankai. He's actually the true founder of Bata Soul. Um, he couldn't make it, so I stepped in for him. Uh, but he really is um, the spark that created uh, the mission of Bata Soul. So Bata Soul stemmed from uh, his first visit back to the Philippines. And then he saw his his family within, um, I can't remember the province off the top of my head, but he, he saw his family in the Philippines and realized there's a lot more to give Um and then going into my story with Bata Soul, I've known Jeff all through my life because we played basketball together. He used to play uh, against my brother um, and I would always watch my brother play basketball against him. And, you know, every Sunday, uh, all the Filipinos would get together in across Chicagoland and, you know, we'd play basketball um, against each other. We had that competitive spirit. Um, but Bata Soul really stemmed from his connection with his father. Uh, connection with his father and his family back in the Philippines and ultimately his love for basketball because his dad was there watching him play every single day um you know rest in peace Tito Manny uh he 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 was a good friend of my father as well and ultimately that is like the the core of where this really came from and so uh you know it started with that it started with just collecting with as many shoes as we can and him dropping it off in his hometown out there um, he donated over uh, 800 pairs of shoes that he just hustled and bustled on his own. Uh, and then it ultimately uh, sparked, uh, you know, it inspired me, inspired my friends, inspired our community in Chicago to start doing more. Uh, we all know how important shoes are, it is to a basketball player or to any kind of Filipino trying to get out there, trying to, you know, flirt with a girl or try to, you know, kind of feel right in this world. Uh, we want to give that opportunity to the people of the Philippines, to those in need. Uh, and so that that initial initiative turned into helping out the Philippines, as well as helping out the homeless in Chicago, uh, the Special Olympics initiative across the USA, as well as many other uh, efforts that our team is trying to put together. So, you know, uh, with one pair of shoes, you could experience over a thousand miles of experiences. So, you know, we want to give that to people. Uh, and we know as Filipinos, we know our kick game is dope. You know, uh, you know, whether it's uh, rocking some Nike dunks or going with uh, your Air Force Ones like we have plenty of shoes just waiting uh, in our closet, in our garages. And so, you know, we want to continue the love that our shoes have given us uh, and give the, to those who uh, are in need. And so uh, we have a lot of goals coming up. Um, we want to work with the creatives within Chicago and bring uh, build bridges. And we want to ultimately kind of give back. I know shoes uh, creates that hustle in you, right? I remember working at Cold Stone Creamery, scoring basketball games with uh, the scoreboard, uh, just collecting as much money as I could just so I could buy that new shoe that was coming out. And, um, you know, I hustled my whole time throughout high school. And then I left for college and I came back home and realized that my dad gave all my shoes to the Philippines. Um, you know, that stuff kind of hurt me back then. Uh, but I actually went back to the Philippines um, when we did a drop off of a thousand shoes last year. And I saw the same shoes being worn across the village of my family in the Philippines. And, you know, I was a big Reggie Miller fan uh, growing up because I, I beat my brother in uh, NBA Live with Reggie Miller. And I was like, this is my dude. And I saw the same, uh, my godson out there is wearing the jersey out there and he's still wearing it right now. And it's just, you know, that these things, these material things that inspire me, inspire my friends, you know, they inspire other people as well. And we want to just make sure that, uh, you know, things continue Um because we have so much here and we have so much to be thankful and we want to kind of give that gratitude opportunity to uh, as many people as we can. When you guys uh, started the organization and the, the projects, when did you guys started finding out that there was a, you know, there was a need for this and there was a uh, demand for uh, this kind of initiatives and this kind of work? Yeah, I think uh, it started with seeing the kids in the Philippines play basketball. Uh, you see them playing with no shoes or slippers, and that slipper is basically all the way down to the bare minimum, and they're Euro stepping <laughs> all in this. And I'm thinking, like, I'm going to rip my toe off doing this, but these kids are crushing it. They're they're playing with passion and they're loving it. Uh, we were able to uh, do a donation within the tenement courts in the Philippines. And so we just saw these, these basketball teams where they're always running efforts out there. And we just saw them go from their, their beat up parachute all the way to something new that they allow them to play again. You know, um, I also saw a need for it, just knowing like, uh, you know, we love to look good. We love to feel good. Uh, and those things add up. And so I want to, I want to give this bridge to all my friends who, you know, yeah, they love their shoes, but you know, there's just so much of that love inside their closets, inside of their garages. And, 
um, you know, we definitely won't take your, your dead stocks. We won't definitely won't take you your, your, your holy grails of shoes, but we definitely want to take the, the basketball pair of shoes that you just put aside because you got that new Kobe 5 Pro type, you know? And so um, it, it stemmed from knowing how grateful we were in America and living the life that we lived and ultimately seeing the need for it in Philippines where, you know, these kids just live off whatever they can. And so um, we want to be able to build that bridge between the two because, uh, you know, a lot of people have been to the Philippines, but they've been to Barakai, they've been to Palawan, they haven't been to the, the tenements, they haven't been to uh, those parts of the Philippines where, you know, it is a different part of the world. And, uh, you know, we wanted to show them what it's like to give them a little hope. I like what you said there about, you know, why are you keeping, well, not why, but you're keeping love inside your closet. You know, love is meant to be shared. And you touched upon gratitude, which is great, and bridging communities. Can you talk about the partners that you have with um, Bata Soul and the community? I know I saw on your website you do pairs of shoes as well. Mm -hmm. So can yeah, you yeah. talk about your, your local community that, that you've brought together and some partners that you've um, helped, uh, you've enlisted, I guess? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Rejuvenator. They've been one of our main sponsors since the beginning. Um, they're a shoe cleaning product and, you know, they they just know how important shoes are to people. And they, they've been a, a good business, a good partner. Uh, and we're going to be expanding efforts with them definitely within the coming months uh, and uh, years. So uh, just a shout out to them. They're a great partner of ours. And then we also have very good uh, local uh, communities that really help us. We've been part of the basketball community, like I said, since I was a kid watching Jeff and my brother play together, uh, as well as, uh, you know, local businesses um, within the city of Chicago, because, you know, we're a ragtag bunch hustling through these cold winters, just like you guys in Toronto, you know. And so, you know, it's awesome to see us kind of connect and work through this. And, um, you know, we have our outlets within the Philippines. We work with Mike Swift and he's been a great part of setting up uh, the big donations within the tenement courts. And, uh, you know, this is just the start of a lot of our partnerships and we're growing and uh, we're, we're organizing as hard as we can to kind of continue those efforts. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, for you guys, um, what are kind of the uh, advice or I guess the kind of um, uh, wisdom that you guys can share to young kids out there or to uh, up and coming players in terms of these kind of organizations, these kind of movements, what would you recommend or advice to these kinds of, uh, to kids or Filipinos out there? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's the Philippines is one of the most passionate, creative, uh, colorful part of the world that I've seen. Um, and they do it with very little. And I think knowing that we have so much here, uh, we could do so much. And I've learned through Jeff and through the people that we work with, if you have an idea, share it, talk through it, plan it and just do it. Cause like it's right in front of you as long as you get the resources and the partnerships and all the connections that come through it. And it could all start from just a pair of basketball shoes. And so um, for all you Filipinos, uh, whether you're in uh, Canada or America, just know like there's people out there rooting for you and, you know, just reach out, be fearless, uh, step into the unknown and really kind of start making your, you know, your connections. Cause that's really what I think is the best benefit of working with Bata Soul. I like how you ended it there. Step into, you know, you said step into, you know, helping out and <laughs> have to do it. Just yeah, happened. it just happened. It's just, it's just, just in here. It's just a lot of shoes. <laughs> There's <laughs> no that... script, guys. There's no script. <laughs> <laughs> well, where can they find you? And any last words, any last shout outs? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, please follow us at Bata Soul on Instagram at Bata Soul, B-A-T-A-S-O-L-E. And you could go to our website at batasol.com. Uh, follow our journey. Uh, reach out to us. We want to hear from you guys. Um, let us know your stories with shoes. Let us know what you're doing because, you know, we're, we're here to support each other. And, you know, with everything happening at Pinoy Bounce, uh, we got your back because, you know, you got our back. So thank you, guys. Yes, and we got your feet as well, if that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all. Thank you guys for joining us. Make sure you follow all our social media channels, Bataso and also Pinoy Bounce. And we'll still stay strong throughout these hard you know, times, but we're going to rise up. We're going to rock it up, right? And we're going to make sure that we're all spreading hope. So thank you for tuning in and stay balling.